the North Cat, baby, I'm a boss. Carolina barbecue sauce with the slaw. I'm the safe, the seller, and the vault. I'm the best, the effect, and the cause. I'm the law. We know where we're going. We're making our way over towards Miramar. We've seen a very chaotic last circle around Los Leones. Where is our final stage of the weekend going to take us on this map as a plane is in up and in the air over Porto Periso and going to end up towards the northwest. Here we go. One more chance for these teams to qualify for Oakland. All their hopes and dreams are on the line. Destiny is there. It's time to grab it. Where are we seeing the jumps coming through? AFF jumping very early. Vendetta as well. Tempo Storm following on a path. They always like to go towards Impala. Nothing crazy going through there. W Click. They keep playing Los Leones. Nobody is contesting them. I still have my eyes on Hacienda because guess what? Team number one, team number two. Out of all the lobbies right now, both like Hacienda. And it was Lazarus. Hey. That Pull it out for hey, him last I, time. I want them to put on a show for the crowd here. Let's just Do go it. at it. Let's have some fun. You guys are into the finals. All the points are wiped clean next week. Let's just get it on. So we do have them flying right on top of each other. Are they both going to commit to it? Let's find out who the real top dog is of this weekend. Get that fight in Hacienda. Come on. So badly. <laughs> oh, everybody is starting to drop down. It looks like they want it too. Let's tango. Let's this go. Let's is go. It. This is exactly what we wanted. We're seeing the drops come through off of it, and it's going to be very contest off the start. Dropping on the balcony, we've got Luke looking back over towards Lou. It's going to be peaked back and forth. We want to come through, sprays back and forth off the start, and that's going to be Lazarus getting the first down. Luke out duels with his S12 K of his own. The Forever's waiting here for Elo. He does get back off it's just an SKS so the damage output isn't as high as he would like that's gonna back him off pretty curdy has got a VSS see if he's gonna opt to put that thing into auto fire see if he can rip some faces this is the way PUBG should be played bring it up step up for pride right now you can see uncivil realizes he has outnumbered on this angle waiting to see if somebody's gonna encroach around a lot of people like to move around that location you can see for contained back on the side of it Lazarus has a lot of the nodes for loot that they can play off of for angry men starting to realize uh, we don't have the number Numbers. We don't have a lot of loot at this stage. You can see no armor, no helmets for multiple members. Everybody is just in peak battles right now, waiting to see who's going to push. But Lazarus starting to get a little bit more aggressive, encroaching into that territory that 4AM is just trying to hold down. The do -si do continues as Lazarus starts to swing further west into the compound, but way less is being very, very quiet, looking to see if somebody will show their face for him. Alo is pretty hurt, no heals yet, because of course, a lot of these teams have been in a standoff. They haven't had much time to grab gear. And that is huge right now. The longer that this fight continues means that these guys are not gonna have a chance to get meds, armor, ammo. It's gonna make their rotation so much more dangerous. ZGG going way around the outside of this. New circle is popped. Luckily, Hacienda is inside the circle, and eh, well, we might see a rotation from that point, depending on who comes out of it alive. But it's a lot of the teams up towards the west they're gonna have to make their rotations i mean i would love it if they just stayed here and they just tried to play a king oh. of the mountain type situation oh no halo you're gonna get caught out great play by zgg is gonna find him and that's that long flank coming up from four angry men now the numbers are neutralized luke took a lot of damage as well grenade's gonna come up go a little bit too far but it's gonna be a molotov that's gonna make it very dangerous luke has to watch his feet if he gets knocked that's gonna be real bad he's got a couple of bandages to play with right now nobody has a lot of utility and that's making this so much more stressful a smart grenade by luke knowing that that's about the only angle that anybody's going to be able to find him out from. Now he's stuck Ooh. out on the balcony. Bit of a risky move here, but it is paying off for him as he's able to get Purdy. inside. Oh, Purdy. Purdy's got Purdy. angle on the side. Trying to go for the shots with the VSS, but the angry bees do not connect, so Purdy's going to have to sneak back away from this. ZGG's got that vector, but remember, Uncivil has been holding this point, waiting for the push to come through. Is he going to hear the footsteps because it is so sneaky right now? ZGG's coming up back behind it. I don't know if Civ has heard this. Surely he has to have that at this point. CGG just creeping ahead. There's the shot from Sim. That's another one down. Great patience by Uncivil. Three for two right now as way less and forever. Look to see if they can even up the score. Luke's going to cross in front of him. Woo! He takes a shot, but it doesn't look like it connected. So we got AK coming up from Wayless, trying to get the spray back over towards Purdy Curdy, who's running the VSS. One is a little bit stronger than the other one, but it's going to be the VSS on top. That is why I love the VSS. Yeah, that's it, Purdy. <laughs> oh.
<laughs> Better than you think close range when you get it into auto fire. It spews bullets at an unbelievable rate. And that is going to just out duel the 4 a.m. And you can hear the USA Ever. chant. Everything's good. Oh, this is what I wanted so much. These are two of my favorite teams at this event playing exactly the way I love PUBG to be played. I mean, what a show they're putting on for us here. And of course, there is something like he's meaning in this. He's still going for it forever. I love you. Don't run away from this. You got pride at stake right now. Let's see how this goes through, though. It's not just pride, because think about this. They're both going to be fighting over this in the finals. So this First is place. more of a like a, 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 a jockeying situation here. They're trying to find out who will be the real owner of this location. T1 and HQ in a fight. Remember, these are two cusp teams right now. This is really big. We've got our top dogs fighting in one spot, and then we've got our guys fighting for life to make it to Oakland in another. Tempo Storm's getting caught up with W Click right now, and that's going to be one of their members down. Yep, here comes some grenades up and over. That one's going to be off the mark from Shark. Ribo is very, very weak. Tempo Storm on the move. Sharp shot coming up here. Me Luke is up there already, but Rybok's actually going to get found out by Wu Fang from QM. Harold's going to get me Luke. Sharky is getting really flushed very quickly. They've got to watch out for it. Silzen's trying to go for a rotation. It's going to be QM that's taking the shot back over towards W Click in the back. Harold steps up just trying to at least get one, but look, the shot's come out on the other side of it. There's a lot going off over here as Sun Sister also has an angle on this. Vendetta's come up on the backside of QM. There's about five or six teams skirmishing in the open out here and everyone wants these points everybody is getting aggressive Silzen is able to finish yeah, off me luke oh sharp shot he might get ragnar here gets a few sprays isn't able to connect so with this tempo storm's trying to retreat back reset they know exactly where w click is gonna throw out the grenade that could land pretty close to him depending on how bounces go gonna be just a little bit on the outside not get the down off of it damp is playing right up in the face of Silzen, but no that's gonna be tempo storm going down as w click comes up on top one member of QM did go down to Vendetta on the back of all of this. Sun Sister did steal a kill. Oh! Gamma's gonna get one. Purdy Curdy's gonna finish off for With forever. The VSS again. All right, Purdy, you're gonna stack up those VSS numbers. I like it. I like it. QM was also trying to encroach up over here as well as FaZe. So they're opting into playing in the blue. That's gonna take a lot of damage once they turn in. If anybody has a sight line for it, it's gonna be very dangerous. That's why they're metting up right now. Stop. Take the time, make that last little push, and pray nobody connects with any bullets. Meanwhile, Vendetta's just full on synth time. Oh, oh no. no, they lose a tire, that's bad. Trying to stay alive out of it, jumping out of the vehicles, trying to use it for cover, but there's so many firing angles coming back towards them. That's another down going back over towards T1. The SLRs are raining death and destruction here on the Vendetta. Their tournament hopes being dashed as this goes down. That tractor is not enough protection, but ooh, Chaiwei is gonna steal one of those kills from T1. <laughs> I That's like, actually kind of a big deal. I like how T1 looks over. Adder's like, I keep sucking my kills. <laughs> looks off over to the left there. So now you can see Lazarus still running their split right back over here next to T1. Keep hearing firefights and they're just very interested in it. Um, with this, it feels like Laud Bendita is probably gonna be where our end point is gonna be at. It's gonna try to probably shift away from Minas Generalis. A lot of the planes are now out of the circle so it's going to be a lot of rough terrain points. You can see QM does look back over towards one of the members of STV, but QM has a, so many defensive line points. I tell you what, if you're STV, this is not the team you want to run into. QM is not absolutely today. on fire today. Circle just centers up right over La Bendita. Meanwhile, the battle rages on here between oh. QM and Sting Divine. But Grenade. FaZe hears oh. this, and they're pushing up on the other angle as well. FaZe looks back down towards this. You can see Levis trying to move back around this, but it's going to be FaZe that's starting to peek up on the side of it. Sting Divine is in a lot of trouble, but now QM could find themselves literally in a barrel that they could be shot out of. Oh, what a grenade lands right on top of GYY. Good grenade from Uba. Looking for him to light the scoreboard up. Levis is prone, getting some smokes down. Buzz Faze is going to spot out Liga, and out goes QM in 11th place. All right, FaZe, it's the last game. You're playing for pride at this point. They, I mean, it's it's a long reach to make it back up there, but it, the dream could exist. If they have a giant 20-plus game, there is well, I tell you the what, outside chance. Matram, I tell you what, if that happens, that will actually be the greatest moment in PUBG Esports history. That, that would be a huge comeback. Hurry, look back to over towards AHQ, taking a couple shots. He's going to go down. Lazarus was running a very aggressive split, so there's no support except for long range that's going to be coming through. Siv does get the down and flush back over towards CC, but Party is going to go down for that. Lazarus down to two. All right, Kane making a 
dash across a lot of firing lines. He ends up getting knocked by Luke 12 up there. Once again, Lazarus hasn't had to move too far. They're just kind of covering that northern angle on La Bendita. Uncivil's coming into this now, picks up Chaiwei, trying to get some more shots in, is backed off by Leo. Just trying to pick up more kills at this point. Lazarus sitting on seven. You know, a couple of these other teams might want some of these points, Lazarus. You can kind of relent at this stage. You made your point with the 4 a.m. drop earlier. <laughs> they really did. I mean, look at this, eight kills here, of course. Yeah. You know, they won the battle for the, the Hacienda. middle. Yeah, Hacienda, Hacienda, man. Hacienda battle, I'm, I'm just so that. I'm just so blown away by what they're doing today. Oh. They are just incredible. Now look at Levis kind of creeping up back behind this. Phase has to be very vulnerable up towards the top, but there's a lot of members of Phase over here that Sting Divine is going to have to contend with. Go ahead, get the stems up onto it, but you can see Phase feels like they've got a lot of control over this angle, looking back down into the crater. And this is kind of what I was talking about. This is the wall around outside of the crater. The guys down towards the center don't really know what's happening on the outside. They don't have good sight lines back towards. If Phase is not careful, Levis could find a very sneaky angle back behind them and do a ton of damage. Well, Levis continues the crawl, the army crawl up the hill. Right now, FaZe's attention is in different directions, but ooh, they're gonna oh. take some damage from Jeff Laka, landing a headshot with that SLR, but Uba gonna be able to get behind the crest of this hill and get rezzed by Fuzzface, assuming Levis doesn't have anything to say about it. He sees it, and you can see he wants it, goes for the spray, and that's two down back over for FaZe. The spin comes back around, they get the down onto it, but Look, AC is charging over here, trying to get these rises off. And that is going to be the end of the day for Sting Divine, the end of the tournament for them. T1! Oh, here comes T1. <laughs> if they make this push, if they were paying attention to how the knocks were coming through, they could capitalize on a huge moment and catch phase while they're trying to get their meds back off. Jeff Laka leading the charge up this hillside. He's gonna figure out how does he wanna play this. He doesn't have a lot of utility, just smoke grenades. It's not gonna be a frag that takes down phase if T1 gets them. It's gonna be just a brutal approach off of this. And they realize, Okay, it's taken a little bit too long, but I don't know. Is FaZe still expecting anyone off of this angle? Looks like they're starting to hunt around a little bit more, realizing that they were vulnerable from that angle, so trying to spot it out. Shots come from T1, and it's gonna force them to play a little bit more defensively now, and they should be able to creep away from this and be prepared. This is what I wanted to see from T1 more today, being aggressive, taking opportune moments. AHQ oh. is going to go down in ninth place. That's so big. 55 points will be the cutoff mark for 16th right now. But we got a couple of teams that could potentially do it. You can see Red Canids just nipping at the heels back over towards it. AFF caught in a lot of skirmish. I mean, the La Bendita crater area is so messy to play around. There's so many weird angles because we have like walls that are missing sections of them. There's just kind of like all of this rubbish that's down around the bottom of it you have to be careful about. There's so many sneaky angles that people could be hiding behind. It makes it so much harder. And to have a finals end around this location, Lord, Lord, so much pressure. It's going to be really fascinating to see how these teams approach it. Of course, the Red Canids have been in there for quite a while, but they need more points. They need to get some kills here. They see TSM over on their left-hand flank, and they want to try to get some more points in. Iro, Michael, Rory on the side. Andy is going to get backed off. They're spotted out by TSM. I'm a little surprised that the Canids waited that long to get this kicked off. They wanted to wait for the moment that TSM stopped kind of juking around, looking on something that TSM is not going to stop for it. TSM got the smokes down, starting to encroach back over towards Red Canids. You can see Aspu's trying to hold the angle back, but Iroh's going to step up to the side of it, try to connect, but not going to get any damage off. A lot of spray coming through, but it's got to be very, very careful off of this. Michael is down. Rory's taking a lot of damage, and now you can see the push starting to come back away from this. Red Canids want nothing to do. They're like, no, we need to stay alive. The problem with it is, is you guys also need kills. Right, that grenade going to back off the Red Canids. Rusty, Zera, and Raspu moving back and forth, trying to see if they can out position him, but a nice peek by Rory. Is he going to be able to secure the kill? That grenade might roll a little bit too far. Raspu finds a decent angle, but there are no shots Woo. making their mark there. That was so close. Now we're going to hop into going for the res right now. FaZe Clan starting to come more and more alive. The threat looms back behind it. The grenade's going to go a little bit too far. Not take down the red Canids, but you can see TSM wants to make this push. They know that the Canids are vulnerable right now. FaZe is just looping around the circle on the hunt for anything that moves, taking shots at literally anything they see. I mean, FaZe has to absolutely clean everything up. A Freak of Freaks Fatal moving up onto the remnants of Vendetta. A Whoa. grenade comes in Whoa. and it's just a bit too far. Lambu is going to find him. That is going to be Vendetta out in fifth place, and that will be their tournament.
Freak of Freaks playing back down towards the south. Red Canids trying to separate out and away. TSM in a good position right now, but finding themselves under fire from FaZe. That's going to be nice shots coming out from Uba. Michael is now down. Multiple downs have come his way, so he's going to bleed out very quickly. TSM trying to find some type of cover point. Rory goes down as well. That's Iro. That's starting to turn up for FaZe. We knew the fact that this was a potential possibility, but is it too late? Uba is starting to go Super Saiyan here. I don't know if it is going to be enough, though. FaZe is in 19th. Wow, FaZe is getting up there. They're climbing. They're trying. The Red Canids have backed off, as have AFF. AFF is not too far out of this as well. Four more points for them. That is all they need. There is everything on the line between these three it's teams. These three teams out of all the ways to end it right now. It's going to be the Red Canids taking shots back over towards Fuzzface, but he manages to juke almost all of them. Get it's back towards safety. Buzzface, the rest of the guys from FaZe hold down the north, back down towards the south. It's still three members of Red Canids, two members from Afrika Freaks. We have eight people alive with these three teams active. If you ever doubted FaZe Clan, now is not the time. These guys are hungry and they are confident. They have the big stage experience to get this done. Afrika Freaks Fatal on your southeast. Aintsy is and pushing up on them and oh my god. And M249 on top of that. That's a ton of ammo to work with. That's going to be a big replenishment off of it. So Aintsy is going to start creeping back up over on this angle. They know they need to kill everything that's moving around them. They're at 13 kills right now. They're so aggressive pushing across these angles. Uba does see where Freaka Freaks is at, but look at this push coming out from Aitsy. This could be the moment for FaZe, all depending on how they opt into playing this right now, and a lot of it hinges off the positioning of Aitsy and how Afrika moves. New circle pops, does favor Red Canids, but let's be honest, FaZe doesn't care about where the circle's at right now. They are just on the hunt. I mean, if Fatal has no idea that Aitsy is over here, he could end their day very, very quickly. You can see Lambu is cooking a grenade potentially not, oh, he's picking up some items from his teammate there. They're giving a little oh. switch off, and this oh. could be huge. If he finds Aitsy here, smokes are coming down first. Maybe seeing if he can wait Aitsy out a little bit. Fuzzface coming over for the shot. Now looks back around the other side of it. You can see Shadow's like, I didn't realize they were this close. Trying to figure out what's going on. That's more utility being used. Shadow's on the outside of the safe zone. He's got to push through them or red canids. Grenades are starting to come out. Shadow's trying to use something. Got to flush out Aitsy if he wants to continue his push off to the side of this phase getting more control over this angle but that is red canids hearing everything that's going down right now that grenade lands close at the feet third party shots coming into it everybody wants all of these kills a freak of freaks fatal's trying to crawl through the smokes down to 16 life the blue right back behind him which direction is going to go looks back out and it's going to go back over to fun space all right this is going to come down to this battle the red canids versus phase here what this point. is huge this is crazy they're right next to each other three v three so now we do have the Canids that were pushed up. They know a lot of the information, but FaZe has a lot of different angles that they can play around, and they're trying to use that. The smokes that the Canids are playing around right now gives away some of their positions. They want to play it a little bit more aggressive. Oba trying to take out that grenade, seeing if he can get anything off of it. So now we do have Rusty Zero right up on this angle. How's the push going to come through? All right, Andy FPS peeking up over the hill. Uba not able to connect with his spray, but he knows where the Canids are now. Going to get that grenade up and over, but it is too little too late. The Canids have already moved off, sniffing that one out. Rusty Zero on the left, Andy in the middle here. And you can see Fuzzface making the flank for FaZe. They control a lot of this circle. The Red Canids are a little grouped up, and it looks like FaZe is going to try to surround them. 15 kills looking back over towards the Red Canids. Both of these teams playing to stay alive, stay in this tournament, make their way over towards Oakland. So much stakes right now for both of these teams. So now Rusty Zira still holding back down towards the center. Now all the smokes are starting to come through. Psycho does connect with one shot onto this. You can see the dance around. Everybody's trying to figure out where the reposition's coming through. Rusty Zero takes a little bit of damage, but Fuzzface still trying to encroach up onto it. Psycho goes for the peek onto it. Gotta be so cautious. I love the fact that we're getting the Toby eye tracker right now to see exactly how these teams are reacting. Look at this. Uba is going to reposition. A lot of this is going to come down to him. The superstar for FaZe Clan. AT coming up over the hill. Nothing there. The smokes are down. Still a little bit of utility available for FaZe. Oh, and they are looking to come around. Andy goes oh. for the peak off to the side of it. That's going to be his position. Uba steps up, gets one, goes for the spray into the second one. There is just one came in alive right now, and FaZe knows it. They're starting to push back through this. Rusty Zira playing inside the smokes. The hunt is on. The spray comes through. And the EU Giants, FaZe Clan walk away.